Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Um, today we're going to talk about a game called Okana, Four Rhythms Across the Blue. Now, this was a controversial release in America, and I'll get onto that in a little bit. But right now, we'll talk about this. So what this is, it's, it's a visual novel. Um, there's a lot of these coming out on the Nintendo Switch. Um, and this takes place in a world where flying through the sky is as simple as riding a bike. The sport flying circus is all the rage. You follow the discovery of anti-gravitons, which are special shoes that allow an individual to fly. And uh, I guess they take the world by storm or some kind of... I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently this is a series that is really popular across in Japan. Um, and this game caused a bit of a stir when it was going to be moved over to the West. Now this is a visual romance novel. You play as a character named Masaya Hinata. Pardon if I don't speak the Japanese properly. Most of the gameplay of this game unfortunately spent reading the narrative and dialogue of it. So... When it comes to visual novels in general, there's there's a different variety of them. There's some that are interactive. They have a dialogue tree. You're able to make choices. You can lead the game to a different direction rather than it being completely linear. And some of them actually have breaks in between where you control your character and you can do like RPG elements and stuff like that. There's different takes on visual novels. This one, unfortunately, is one of the opposite, uh, at least on my behalf. See, I'm not, in general, a visual novel guy, uh, especially anime, which is usually what they usually are, um, which you guys might be saying, Eric, why are you even reviewing this game then? Because as a reviewer, I feel if I have the opportunity to check something out of my box to talk about it, I might actually end up liking or discovering a new genre for myself to enjoy and further dig into i i don't like to keep my horizons restricted i like to expand my perspective and take a look at stuff and, and figure out for myself which is also why i recommend if you're not experienced with visual novels yourself or certain games that i cover don't take my word 100 percent for whether you should get it or not i'm i'm just another guy giving his opinion you're free to check out stuff whether you want to or not. Never take a reviewer or a content creator or any critic, professional or not, word for it, 100%. Always find out for yourself. But anyways, back to this. Um, again, most of the game is reading and just kind of going along the narrative. So it's pretty linear. It's almost like reading a storybook on your Nintendo Switch. And I'm not a fan of that generally. Um, so there's there's four plot lines in this game that branch out. Um, you'll have certain points in the game that allow you to um, make a decision. It's like a branching plot line that'll go one direction. So there's a little bit of that here, but it's man, is it a lot of reading? Um, you'll have the chance to um, there, there's different harrowings in this game. So there's four of them. And depending on what you progress or whatever, you have multiple different stories that you can read and stuff like that. Um, some decisions that you make can lead the game to end early. So there'll be like endings that come up. Almost like a choose your own adventure type of book. So you'll have to replay the game multiple times. Choose different choices to basically further the plot to get to an alternate ending. Um, there are some scenes in the game that depict sexual stuff going on. <laughs> and that's where the controversy of this game is at. Um, when it was coming over to the West, uh, the PlayStation 4 version of this actually has a lot of censorship going on. And it caused quite a bit of a stir between, I guess, fans of this game and the community that is against censorship and stuff. We all know when it comes to North America, there's certain stuff that people just don't want in their games. Apparently, this was also brand new to the nintendo switch in the west this has been out in the switch uh eShop in japan since 2018 so it's finally coming over i'm not entirely sure how much of the nintendo version is censored but the playstation one uh p cube games put a statement back in june saying uh this game in the west will contain amendments to a selection of images and text found in the game 
including four scenes which have been modified and three scenes that have been removed completely. They received many requests for clarification around the potential scene modification and it is saying that these apply to the PlayStation 4 version only. So evidently the Switch version is the full game without the censored chip and stuff like that. I don't know if that will factor in to a purchase point for you, for you guys in regards to picking up this game. Uh, for me, I don't mind too much of the game's modifications and stuff. I'm not going to get butt hurt or completely um, upset about it. I can understand the whole being against censorship and stuff like that. It's aggravating, especially when fans get to enjoy a complete work of a game in a different country. It's almost like a movie being censored. And it's kind of weird that a video game in certain countries would be uncensored, but movies in those same countries get censored. Uh, now, this game is, interestingly enough, available physical for the platforms over here. So if you're, if you're thinking of getting this for the Switch, you can get it physically for $29.99, which is not a bad price in general for a physical game. And $26.99 currently on sale in the Switch eShop. But I would say the price point for just reading is pretty high. If I wanted to read a $29.99 book, I would get a paper... I would, I'm not a paperback. I would go get a hardcover version of a book at my Barnes and Noble and read it uh, again. Okay, I get it. Um, there's there's elements of visual novels that people like that they enjoy. They can be relaxing. Uh, oftentimes, they're based on mangas and animes that people are already fans of, and it's it's a genre that is growing. There's a lot of these in the eShop. Uh, that are happening and stuff and sure there's multiple endings alternative endings or sexual encounters all the stuff that weebs I guess what are they called like in general for me it's not my cup of tea this one okay I, I understand there's there's a story behind it and stuff but honestly I don't think I enjoyed this one as much as I've enjoyed like for example I reviewed a game called Nicole recently that actually had light RPG elements and stat building um, decisions that it was a little bit more interactive uh, this one was a little too just sitting here and tapping a I didn't really like that one so I don't think I can recommend this one for the $20 plus uh, price point that they're asking for but anyway some of you guys might like it what do you guys think comment down below let me know your thoughts unless this is something you're gonna completely pass on and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one subscribe if you're brand new Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.